Here at Master Dog Training, we pride ourselves in the creation and development of our high intellectual education program. There are four different parts to this program. There's physical education, mathematics, geometrics, and communication. All these tie together when it comes to using them in our daily lives. So the first part is the mathematics, which helps the dog understand how many objects are right there. Like if you put five toys in front of them, they will bark five times. Or if you are blind and you are leaving somewhere and you ask like how many chairs or how many people are in front of me, they will bark say four times for four people or six times for six chairs so that you don't trip. So that your dog can bark however many times it is. We're gonna ask Logan what's two plus two. <coughs> yes, good boy, that's four. They also learn how to identify objects on the board. Good boy, that's two. They also learn how to identify numbers and so they identify the picture. Good boy, that's three. They start to realize the picture and or the markings so that they can understand what is actually there. The physical education part helps a lot with the dog building leg muscles and back muscles so that they can do things such as if you are holding groceries and you need them to open the door for you, they can get on their hind legs and open the door for you. They can crawl under places, say if you dropped your keys underneath your car and you can't really grab them, the dog can crawl underneath there or if there's just some tight places that you aren't able to reach or even if you aren't able to physically do it yourself, you can tell them to go grab that. There is also the third part, which is the geometric, where the dog learns how to identify objects, such as a big chair or a small chair. Um, also, if you grab your favorite toy, opposed to maybe grab the tennis ball. And it starts to identify like, hey, I'm gonna feed you, will you please bring me your bowl? And they'll do it happily. We also have the communication where we take simple sentences and tell the dog, and so he starts to learn what is happening. Will I have to go in the store? Will you please sit here and wait for me? The dog will sit and wait until you come out of the store. Or, hey, I want to feed you. Will you please go get your bowl? They understand they're about to get fed. They're going to go grab the bowl. So all of these come together into one general thing. And it's a lot that has to do with mental because this is not something that dogs do naturally. We have to train them physically and mentally and it takes a lot of dedication to do this. And there's one more skill that we teach them how to do in high intellectual education. In case you guys are religious, we can teach your dog how to pray and put his head down before that you start the day, when you end the day, or maybe before you eat. You can have him pray with you, thanking your God for food, family, and even the trainers here at Master Dog Training. And after you enroll your dog in our high intellectual education program, you will realize what your dog is able to perform and advance capabilities that can help you in your daily life and you will not regret it.